My name is Satya. I'm an advanced admissions rep here at Mount Graham Regional. I've been here for four years. My name is Krista Quinones. I'm the admissions manager here at Mount Graham, and I have been here eight years. My name is Justin Millar. I am the information technology director and security management, and I have been here two years this month. I'm Julie Johnson, and I am the Director of Health Information Management, Patient Access, and the HIPAA Privacy Officer. And I've been here 32 years, and what else? <laughs> I think that's good. People respect that people have come back. Our providers, um, my nephew is a provider here, I have also another nephew that's a general surgeon. I have, you know, uh, people come back. Uh, Dr. Marble, Dr. Carter. I grew up with Dr. Carter here. <laughs> we played, had piano lessons together. And so uh, <laughs> here he is. And everyone wants to come back to the Valley because it's home. And it's home for the community. And we are definitely, it's about community. That's Mount Graham. It's a place where everyone feels comfortable going to receive care. Just a friendly environment. Everyone there is awesome. Um, I know I've been treated here myself as a patient and I, I've received awesome care, so. It's a very valuable part of our community because we are the only hospital here in our area. And we're one of the biggest hospitals in a pretty wide range of area, you know. And, Having taken care of my grandparents, I brought my grandpa here multiple times before he passed away and it was always great care and if there was something they couldn't provide, they made sure to get him to a good facility that could in a bigger area. One of the big things that I saw coming into Mount Graham from the retail, you know, we're always innovating, always changing, is that Mount Graham has always had robust leadership and support from administration to progress and make those changes. You know, yeah, we could go with the bottom rung, least cheapest thing that we can make it work, but what, is there a better way? And maybe it's not the cheapest, but is there a better way, a better standard, better practice? And I can say that the systems that they have built from my predecessor's previous leadership have been so robust that it's allowed us to continue at a high level of support and availability and a functionality throughout all departments so that when someone does want to bring on a new project or someone does want to scale up four servers, we have the capacity, we have the resource and scale to do that instead of, oh no, we, we can't do any innovation, we can't do those things because we're just trying to maintain. I like that now, which we discussed a little bit ago before we started, um, that little delay we get from registering and finishing up to the delay that it has to get to access the, you know, we don't have to spend that 15 seconds looking up the patient, we can interact with the patient, ask how they're doing, you know, while it's loading and pulling everything up, we have that time to interact and not just focus on our computer and not pay attention to the patient. But I was so excited when Justin told me about Access eForms. I said, yes! You mean we can get the person to sign right there at that time? We're not going to be losing all of these papers. But basically, the impetus is from the foresight of administration moving it down saying we will support you, we've got to find ways to make us more effective um, to help patient care. We discovered in the process of, of uh, regimenting our forms essentially, like making them consistent, that we had things that were out of order. We had, we had signatures that were, you know, not captured in the right timeline per se. And, and Access eForms makes us do that in the right timeline, which is so much better for medical records and those kinds of things. And yes, it was an adjustment the first week or two, but I think our first month we had over 4,000, 5,000 forms. It was, it was in the thousands of signatures and, and captured that were all done seamlessly. I know that Meditech themselves uses access e-forms for their forms. So that was a big, you know, kind of like, oh, well, if this is the company that they're using for their own forms, that should speak volumes to the kind of product that they want to have and we want to have on our campus. With our old vendor we would have to, I mean, patients can sign or whatever, but as far as inputting information, we'd have to print it out, fill it out, scan it in, whereas now the way Access is designed, we're able to fill everything and write that in there and then just save it and it goes straight to the account and there's no, like she said, of course, unless there's user error, it's a lot more 
friendly with making sure everything gets saved and put into the account. That way we don't have to call and bug patients after they've already left our facility. I really like the integration uh, with Access eForms with Meditech, that that has just helped us tremendously. As far as our analysts go, um, we used to, of course, have to scan in forms and paperwork, and uh, we would then lose paperwork. We'd have to find it. If we didn't find it, we had to recreate it. We had to get more signatures. But the best thing about that is that when we're doing deficiencies to see uh, maybe there's a nurse that needs a signature that uh, hadn't gotten it done, uh, we sometimes it'd be a month before that nurse was back on, so we had to wait. So then the provider didn't actually get that signature for him to sign off on it yet, and so that held up our medical records, that held up our deficiencies, uh, so now, with Access eForms and signatures, the nurses can go in there and get theirs or other providers, our CRNAs, anybody can go in there and get the signatures and it helps with our uh, continuity of care and to get the, the deficiencies taken care of. You can go in there and move the deficiency to the physician right then and they can make that signature. I would say service is the key uh, differentiator between products. Uh, for example, um, receiving support for my Microsoft product versus receiving support from a company that, a vendor that supports Microsoft. When I call for the same issue, the service I get from the vendor versus from Microsoft are phenomenally different. Therefore, I'm more inclined to go with the one that provides me the better service. You know. And, and, and everything being the same, it's that service, it's that pick up the phone, I've got an issue, hey Justin, how's it going? And, and having that, that service, that rep, that relationship to build on and to have the support that we need when we need it, because we don't need it often, right? When we're calling, we're only calling because we have to. Uh, we want to figure things out on our own. We want to build a system that we know inside and out. And if we have to call for issues, we want someone who's going to be like, hey, I'm here with you, like I said, with the, IT, or the uh, ER docs. I want someone in the trenches with me to help me know when there's a system. What happened was, she said, I don't care what you do, I don't care how you do it, but to figure out a way, we're not doing this. We 